What's up guys, hope you're all doing great. Welcome to another tutorial in this color correction and color grading section. Now this tutorial is part of the complete Premiere Pro 2021 course and if you haven't seen the previous ones then I would highly recommend you to go and watch those because we learned some really cool and exciting stuff. And if you've been watching all of my tutorials then do stick around because we've got a lot more things that we are gonna cover in this one and in the upcoming ones as well. So so far we have covered the lumetri scopes in this color grading section and then we worked with the basic correction and luminous sliders then we covered off different effects in creative tab and then we looked at the rgb and hue saturation curves in the last video so in this video we will be going through the color wheels and mash tab that we have here in the lumetri color panel now this is a really cool feature because you can actually get a comparison view of the clip that you've created and then you have the ability to match all of the other similar clips to that one. Let me elaborate that. So if I go into the color wheels and mash tab now, you can see that we have these luminous sliders. So there's that mid-tone uh, shadows and highlights. And with each of these sliders, we have a color wheel too. You can now increase or decrease the luminous levels of your clips using these sliders. And then you can also do those colors too. Now, at the moment, we haven't really done anything with these sliders, which is why there is this empty center part. But when I start making changes, that's when these color wheels will all be filled with colors. Now, this is just a way of Premiere telling you that you've made changes in this area. Now, if I want to reset these changes, then I can just double click here on this plus icon and Premiere will reset everything that I did in this area. So, I mean, it's nothing new. And I mean, these color wheels, these sliders, they work exactly in the same way as all the other color wheels and sliders in Premiere. So let me now select the clip that I have on my timeline. And I'm going to first of all, bring the shadows down a bit and just a little bit and then I'll move my highlights up and now I'm going to push the mids towards a bit of magenta and my shadows just as, just slightly yeah towards some green and then the highlights too I think that I think this looks all right this looks fine now yeah okay so now let me turn the effect off by unticking this box and see the difference okay now I'm just, I just need to kind of fine-tune this and I think it looks okay now yeah it does okay so now that I'm happy with this clip I would obviously want all of the other clips that are part of the same footage to have that similar color scheme just so they all look consistent so I'm going to select the other clip from the same scene and we'll then click on this comparison view button and what Premiere is going to do is that it will show me my timeline next to this clip in my program monitor. So now I can move my timeline to the clip that I want to use as my baseline, as my base clip. And then I'm just going to hit this apply match button. And you will see that Premiere will do its best to match both these clips by making all the color adjustments by itself. So there you go, guys. Now, Obviously, it's not perfect and you'll still need to fine tune it, but it will give you a very good starting point and you won't have to do any, everything from scratch. Plus, you are also able to see both of your clips side by side, which will help you in having that consistency. Now, if I turn this off, you can see the job that Premiere did with this clip, which I, I mean, which I think is not bad at all. And especially when you are trying to match faces in your clips, then this feature can definitely help you big time. So guys, that's really all I wanted to cover in this video. And in the next tutorial, in the next video, we will go through the HSL secondary tab and we will look how we can isolate different areas within the clips and different colors within the clips and then manipulate those colors. So guys, I hope you found this video useful and let me know how you're getting on with this stuff. And as always, if you have any questions, anything you want to ask, feel free to drop that in the comment section and I will try to get back to you as soon as possible. I'm now going to see you in the next video. So till then, you take care of yourself.